What's going on Vaca Buddies and welcome back. Right now we're in Chicago O'Hare Airport on our way to a place we have never been before, the Great Lakes. We've been invited to Traverse City, Michigan by the local tourism board. It's supposed to be a beautiful spot, a hidden gem, and a foodie destination. So we're gonna find out. The plane's boarding, we're late. Are you coming with? Yes, stay tuned, let's go! So we've checked into the Sugar Beach Hotel. Got some local beers, just looking over the Great Lakes. Our first time on the Great Lakes. What do you think, bro? 21% of the world's fresh water and 85% of the total fresh surface water in the United States is in the Great Lakes. So. We're gonna eat well, we're gonna be in the outdoors. There's a lot of craft breweries and even vineyards. So here's to a good week here in Michigan, bro. The first of many. Cheers. Oh. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Traverse City. We are in the uh, warehouse district, and we're gonna do kind of a cool twist on a uh, brew tour. It's a kayak and a bike brewery tour. It's called Cabrew, and it takes off right now. All right, you guys, so we are at the first stop of the beer tour. It's called Right Brain Brewery. I'm right brain. I think you're a left brain. No, I think it's the other way around. Oh, I don't know. Left brain. Uh, anyways, we are gonna take a little sample. Truth, it is 11.30 in the morning. Early by most standards, but it's five o'clock somewhere and we bike to get here, so we totally deserve a sip of beer. We're going to four breweries in total, two by bike, and then the rest by kayak. Awesome, let's go. Got like six different beers, all of them are brewed here. They have a lot more on tap. Uh, we've asked for the all-star list and we're getting some burgers because we're hungry and beer and burgers go together like peas and carrots. There we go. There we are. All right, so one up to you. All right, we're off. Beautiful day. Super nice little marina, but uh, it's crazy. Like the lake is so big that it doesn't feel like a lake. Like it feels like a bay in the ocean crazy and there's seagulls which is just kind of confusing I guess they become bagels because this is a bay or lake gulls Traverse City comes from French traders who used to traverse across the bay as a shortcut from peninsula to peninsula. Once it became part of America, this place became a boom town in the 1800s thanks to lumber. There were tons of lumberjacks here basically cutting down trees to supply the construction boom uh, in the 1800s. About half the new homes in that time used wood from this area. The city really prospered after the 1870s Chicago fire when the entire city had to be rebuilt using lumber from here. That's why you see all these beautiful homes around us. Super nice. So, we've ditched the bikes and now we're hopping on kayaks. We're gonna kayak out through this lake into a river which is gonna take us back into town. To another brewery, are you ready? I'm super stoked. We're going from land to sea. So we've parked the kayaks, admired a vintage car, and now we're off to another brewery. 
They say I'm wasting time They don't understand I think You'll stay on my mind It's you over everything You over everything uh. Hi, this is Rare Bird Rare Bird Brewery I got the Grab by the Tangerines and that title. So there are 11 breweries here in town and a lot of them like this one don't bottle or export so it's all consumed locally. It's, they're kind of more like microbreweries and tap rooms and it's really cool. and we're going to the final stop, the last brewery on the tour. And it's just super mellow. I mean, we're on the Boardman River and there's all these cool townhouses stacked up right against the water. And as you can see, we're floating at just like a languid and super enjoyable pace. Gets better over time, better than I even think. Just like your yeah. fine wine, and I don't even really drink you over everything. Over everything, everything. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so to feed ourselves, we've cruised over here to Spanglish Cafe and uh, we have a nice spread. You know, we are from California, so we have a, a soft spot for all types of Mexican food. What do we got going on here? Well, we got some tostadas, we've got some tamales, and we have some tacos. Everything's got this beautiful green tomatillo sauce. We have some iced coffees because we're still a little bit jet lagged, but overall, I'm excited. The city's got a great food scene. A lot of that reason is because people have gone to bigger cities and then come back and brought some of the food culture from other, other parts of the, the world here. And all the ingredients are really good. That's why they have the farmer's market across the street. Okay, well the adventure continues. Right now we are at Grand Traverse Commons. This building used to be the Traverse City State Hospital. It was built in 1885. So after the lumber boom, Traverse City had to find a new industry. And this hospital was built as a mental institution in order to bring jobs to the community. It operated for about 100 years until it was closed in the 80s and reopened in 2000 as one of the largest renovation projects in the United States. So now it's open with all these different independent businesses. There's a cider house, there's coffee shops, there's a restaurant. We're gonna go check it out. My name is David Page, and we are at the village at the Grand Traverse Commons. This is the former state asylum, and we're gonna take a tour of the site to include the blighted abandoned buildings out back waiting reconstruction. So the story here is three words. Beauty is therapy. This was built to uh, uh, create a standardized system of care for patients that didn't exist in the 19th century. What's left here is 63 acres and almost 1 million square feet of building stock. So this is the largest historical renovation project in North America. Uh, we're 15 years into this and about two thirds of the way done. We're now in the old cafeteria and um, as you can see this building is definitely uh, in need of some TLC. It's in the process of being totally refurbished. So this building will eventually be like the main building over there, building 50. And there are going to be more cafeterias in the form of cool restaurants because what they've done basically is opened up all this space to, to small businesses and retail shops. So we're going to finish up the tour and then get a quick afternoon coffee at a local roaster. Okay, 
Okay, so now to round out the day, we're back in downtown Traverse City having dinner at a collection of food trucks known as Little Fleet. Cheers. So full. Food was bomb. Beers were great. Today was awesome, bro. Overall first impressions of Traverse City, Michigan. Two thumbs up, man. Two thumbs up. Yeah, very cool. Totally different vibe than what we have back in California. The adventure continues tomorrow. We're gonna go further afield. We're gonna do some wine tasting. We're gonna sail on tall ship. All awesome things. And you will see tomorrow. So stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe and turn on notifications if you have not already. Once again, big thanks to Traverse City Tourism Board for bringing us out here. Stay tuned tomorrow and we will see you on the road. Wait, hold on, I messed that up. Stay curious, keep exploring. And, and then we will see you on the road. Got it, it's actually starting to rain, so good night! Oh!